Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Let's continue with part 2 on topic 4 which is selection control structures. In the last part, we have looked at equality operators, logical operators and also the precedence order. In this part, we will be using the operators as part of the expressions of our selection statements. In selections, there are two types of it which are if statements and switch statements. In if statements, it can be one-way selection, two-way selection, multiple selections and also nested if statements. We will look at all of this. What does it mean by one-way selection? In one-way selection, there is only statement if the expression is true. If the expression is false, nothing will be done. The syntax is if boolean expression and statement for the true case. Expression here referred to as the decision maker. Statement is the action statement or any part of your code that you want to be executed when the condition is true. Let's look at this code. Say that we have double y equal to 15.0, double x equal to 25.0. Then we have our if statement where the expression is true if y is not equal to x. In here, we are comparing the value of y and x where 15 is not equal to 25. So this expression is true. When it is true, it will execute the print line statement and display result y not equal to x. Another example is Say that you have declared a new scanner to ask the user to enter their test score. Then, you compare the input value whether or not it is larger or equal to 95. If it is, you will display you are an honor student. The complete code for that example could be as this. We have import statement for scanner. Variable called test score where the user input using next int is kept in the variable called test score. If we run this code, it will display enter a test score. What do you think will happen if we enter 97? It will display you are an honor student because 97 as the test score is larger than 95. So the condition is true. Say that we run this program again and enter the test score 50, what will be the output? Since the expression become false because 50 is not larger or equal to 95, it will not execute the print line statement. As we don't have any statements outside of the if block, the program will end. What I meant by statements after the if block, say that we have another print line statement system the other print line end of program this statement is outside of the if block when we have the if statement only the statement after it is part of the if block so this means that the sentence you are an honor student that belongs to the if so when we run this code and enter the test score of 50 we will get the output enter a test score 50 and then because 50 is not larger or equal to 95 it will not execute the print line, but it goes to the last line, which is end of program. As this last line, the print line end of program does not belong to the if block. If we run this code and enter the test score of 97, we will get the output enter the test score 97. Because that is true, it will execute the print line and display you are an honor student and then end of program. Later on, we will see how we should write our if block if we have several statements that should be displayed only if the expression is true. What we have seen so far is only when we have one statement. Previously, we only have statements for the true case. If we want to do something else when the expression is false, we can use the if else statement. The syntax is if boolean expression and then the statements for the true case. The boolean expression in the if is normally true. Else, we have statements for the false case. Else statement must be paired with an if. 
So, we need to have if, then only we can have else. Otherwise, as before, we can choose to have only if statement. In if else, we must choose between the two alternatives. Let's look at this example. We use a scanner called input and the program asks the user to enter a number. If the number entered is larger than or equal to 1, it will display you enter the positive number. If the user entered number less than 1, it will display you enter the negative number. Say that we run this program twice. The first output is shown in output 1. If the user enters the value minus 10, it will check in the if statement and found that the value is false because minus 10 is not larger or equal to 1. So, it goes straight to the else part and display you enter the negative number. Let's run this program again and this time we enter the number 10. It will check in the if statement and found that the value is true because 10 is larger than 1. So it executes the print line method in the if part and display you enter the positive number. Similarly, in a different example, say that it asks for the test score, we can have our if else statements. For example, if test score less than 70, the statement that displays you did not pass will be shown. If the test score is larger or equal to 70, the other statement is executed, which is, you did pass. We can also write it the other way around, where within the if expression, we write test score larger or equal to 70. Then, it will display you did pass statement. In the else part, it will show the other statement. Both give the same result. The only difference is the condition that we have. Either test score larger or equal to 70 as true, or as before, we have test score less than 70 as true. It all depends on which way you prefer when writing the code. What should we do if we have several statements for our if, or maybe several statements for our else? If we have more than one statement, we need to use braces or curly bracket to contain all the statements within the if or within the else block. Let's look at this example. Here we have int a equal to 7. Then we have our if and else statements. The expression in our if is a larger than or equal to 1. If this is true, it will print two statements. The first one is the number you enter is and the value. Then the sentence you enter the positive number. To have this two statements within the if, we have to use braces after the expression and close the braces at the end of the last statement to contain within the if. Similarly, if a is larger or equal to 1 is false, it will go to the else. Here, the else has two statements. The first one is the number you enter is and the value, and the second one is you enter the negative number. To have both of these statements within the else, we have to use braces after the else and close the braces at the end of the last statement. If we run the code and enter the value 12, the if statement is true. So the output that we will get is the number you enter is 12, you enter the positive number. If we run the code again and enter the value minus 12, the if statement is false. So it will go straight to the else block. The output that we will get is the number you enter is minus 12, you enter the negative number. What if we only have one statement in either if or else? Can we write the braces? Yes, we can. Both are valid. But normally, when we only have one statement, we do not need to use the braces. Only that when we have several statements, we must use the braces. To summarize, we have learned about one-way selection, which is the use of if statement. And we have also looked at two-way selection, which is using the if else. And in block of statement, we will use braces to contain several statements.